All right, so we got everything done in the back end down there with the rest of the drive line. So today while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and try to at least close off the top end of the motor a bit. Um, you know, now that we took the rags off and everything, uh, you've got the intake ports all exposed in the valley. So what we're gonna do is we're about to go ahead and pull the engine hoist off, take the old dirty dingo off, and um, go ahead and put our valley plate, knock sensors, and then our intake back on. So let's get at it. That loud enough? Oh yeah. All right guys, so now we're gonna finish, or we're gonna start getting back to putting back together a lot of the top end of the motor. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put our gasket down here for the, uh, the valley cover. And, we got it backwards. Yeah, it only goes on one way. So make sure you got it on the right way in the back. So that lays down like that. We already went ahead and uh, changed out our seals here that go over the studs that come up where the knock sensors thread in. So all this is good and cleaned up. And now we can slide it back down on there like so. It's not really gonna wanna go that easy. So, there we go. All right, so we got that. We're gonna take our bolts and go around and snug everything down and tighten them down. All right guys, so we got Got our bolts run down, just barely snug. Uh, actual torque spec on this is 18 foot-pounds, so I'm gonna start here in the center and work our way out, tighten them to 18 foot-pounds, and then carry on, we'll go ahead and get our knock sensors and our cam sensor and stuff in next. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be doing is, is putting in our knock sensors, and there's two of them on this, um, on this motor. Some of the later LS motors, I think they moved them back out or out here somewhere to where you can get to them easier. Um, so these are notorious for where they, since they sit down in here, water can get down in here really easy, especially if you go off-roading or go through water or, you know, pressure washing your engine. It can get right past these, um, these grommets right down in here. Those grommets will get hard and they won't seal quite as well. And then these fill up with water and it starts throwing knock sensor codes and derating and all that kind of fun stuff. And it's really fun when it does it when you're trying to pull out in traffic in front of an 18 wheeler and all of a sudden you have no power because it pulls timing and all that. So, that being said, you don't want to get crazy when putting these in. Um, you can damage them really easy. Matter of fact, what a knock sensor is, is um, it's a piezoelectric sensor. It means it's got a little, little tiny little crystal in there. And what happens is if there's any kind of knock or any a spark knock, detonation or anything like that, any kind of abnormal frequency in the engine shakes that little crystal. And when that crystal shakes, it creates a frequency or actually creates voltage and sends a signal back to the computer. Computer picks it up and says, oh crap, there's a, a knock or detonation. So it'll pull timing, fuel, however the, the software is set up. Anyways, that being said, don't be an idiot go running these things down with an impact. Uh, spec on them is 15 foot pounds, so um, we're gonna go ahead and set these in, screw them down in, and then we'll go ahead and put our connectors on next. All right, so to combat that water getting down in there issue, uh, what you can do is take um, uh, some silicone, good rated like, you know, silicone or whatever, RTV, on around here, just kind of rub it on around with your finger, and um, sometimes I'll dab a little bit around here where the wire goes through too. That'll help seal that off, and you won't have the issue of water getting down in there and the issue with your knock sensors. All right, so we got those in and siliconed, and they're good. So we're gonna hang the uh, pig new pigtail harness back off to the side. Um, if you're doing one of these motors, you got it apart, I highly recommend changing the knock sensors and putting a new pigtail in there. Go with something good like an AC Delco Professional or OEM series. Don't use their advantage, the garbage. Um, you know, because this is something like if it fails, you got to pull the whole intake back off and all that crap, and it kind of sucks. So just do it once and do it right. So we got that hanging off the backside. That's going to clip onto the intake manifold in a second. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our new cam sensor in here in the back. All 
All right, guys, that just snugs down good and tight. I mean, I'm sure there's a torque spec somewhere on it, but no real big deal. Uh, if you're having issues with it going back in, you can put a little bit of motor oil around the O-ring. Ours went right in, no problem, so went ahead and set it back down. Um, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put our oil pressure sensor in, and then we'll go ahead and work on setting our intake manifold on. All right, guys. Oh, and by the way, the uh, knock sensors were a 22 millimeter um, socket. I uh, forgot to tell you guys that earlier. Yours might be a little bit different, but most of them are right at the same size. So we're going to go ahead and put our oil pressure sensor in. We're going to put a new one in while we're in here. Uh, this is the one the GM or the um, the, the actual yeah the GM motor uh, computer will be picking up from. So uh, not to be confused with the one um, for the Jeep computer. So this is a one and one sixteenth size uh, head on it. You can buy these um, uh, oil pressure sensor sockets. These things are awesome to have. Um, they fit a ton of different applications with different sensors. Well worth having. You know, change your buddies out on his car one time, and you can pay for it pretty much. So uh, just a good little tool to have. So we're gonna go ahead and thread this bad boy in and tighten it down. And it just tightens all the way down until it washers tight. Well, it's good and snug, so that back out. Oh, now we're ready to put our intake back on. All right, guys, we got our intake manifold set down in. We got our uh, new intake manifold gaskets on. Um, they just snap on in the bottom, nothing to them. They're real easy. Um, and so with these bolts, um, there's really low torque to them. So we run around and kind of run them all down to they were just barely snug. Um, so the first pass, it's a two pass torque setting. First pass is 44 inch pounds, not to be confused with foot pounds. Um, so you take foot pounds and divide it by 12 and that gives you your inch pounds. So it's like a little over three something foot pounds on the first pass. Second pass is going to be 89, um, yeah, 89 inch pounds. Like I said, not to be confused with foot pounds. You're going to try to 80, you try to go 44 foot pounds, you're going to break these things off easy. So anyways, we're going to do a first pass, go back over a second pass with 89 inch pounds and we've got our other hoses hooked up and then we'll be ready. All right, guys, that's going to be it for us today. Um, man, we really needed this. Like, this is huge progress. This is the big pump over the hill, getting this back in and bolted in. Like, it's definitely done really good for the both of us. It's been a long project so far. We've come a long way. We've still got a ways to go, but, man, it's felt good to have this thing and sit here and look at it sitting in. And uh, it's, it's been such a blast, such an awesome project. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Uh, I know it kind of gets tedious and you know kind of drags on with some stuff you know we're going really into detail with this as much as we can for you guys so i uh, appreciate you guys hanging in there and the positive feedback it really means a lot uh it goes a long way with us and uh if you hadn't already you know feel free we'd love for you to give us a like and subscribe uh we you know channel just keeps growing every day so um and we love it but um man until uh, until next time guys i'm gonna crack open a good cold dr pepper because about that time and remember stock not an option